My name is Martin Fitton and I live in Bristol. It all started in 2009 uh, when I visited a, a garden um, called Compton Acres in Poole and I walked through the Japanese garden I thought I'd, I'd create this at home. So um, as soon as I got home I started turning all the structures into uh, red and black in the Japanese style. Uh, then in 2016 all that started to rot and the garden was looking a bit um, worn and, and um, a bit messy really so uh, I made a decision to start again in 2017 and uh, I've done all the work myself. Um, what I've done is I'll, I'll research something that's Japanese and make sure it's right and then I'll, I will do my best to uh, make a replica of it and then what I would do I'd implement it into my garden and uh, sometimes I've got to do it in a way that I can do it with the materials I, I can get hold of so um, I got to do my own spin on some of it to, uh, because I can't get the materials uh, that you can in Japan. The three main elements of a Japanese garden is um, rock, which is, um, is a structure, the water, which creates life, and the plant, it gives the colour throughout the season. And that's how I've based my garden. Um, so it, and the other thing about it is all about the balance, and that's what I've had to get right. I've had to move plants or get rid of plants because in Japan you have um, a space around the plants, um, not like the, the Japanese, uh, the English gardens are really nice and pretty and beautiful, but they, um, and they, what they do, they fill their borders with flowers and they look amazing. But in Japan, they, they have space around the plants. So that's what I've done here. Um, okay. um, back in, I think it was 2019, before COVID, um, I contacted NGS and I, I wanted to, uh, a neighbour come down to my garden and he said you should open this for charity. So um, I got hold of NGS um, and they come, looked at the garden and said yes, we, you can do that. Um, so in 2021, after the Covid that I lifted, I uh, opened um, for charity and I enjoyed it so much. The following year in 2022, I opened eight days in total um, and uh, it was hard going and there was still a, a big demand to come and see my garden. Um, and as my garden is built on a budget, um, I, I like kind of, uh, I used to save my fuel money, uh, about 50 pound a month to build my garden over all these years. So um, I haven't got the money to put back in it. So what I'm doing now is opening up for tours and uh, giving the people the, the, the background of the Japanese elements in my garden and then um, and then putting the money back into the garden because there's still a lot more I want to do. I was watching this YouTube guy uh, in Japan, in Kyoto, uh, the last samurai. He's come here actually to film my garden all the way from Japan, which was quite nice. Um, I watched his video and I seen this water feature and I like to build things, especially out of wood, but to go into concrete was something a bit different for me. Um, and how I would put it together was gonna to be something totally new. Um, took a few months to think how to do it. And um, what I've done, I bought a black dustbin and um, I cut it up and use it as a template. And then I put the letters on it. Um, and then what I've done is got another bin out of me, is my workshop bin, cut that apart, put it into the ground, put a concrete plinth around it. And um, I um, siliconed the top to the base and it's worked and I get a lot of people saying how the hell did you make that work but um, yeah <laughs> I was shocked to myself it worked and uh, yeah it works well it's a good feature as well it's a replica of a outside um, a temple in, in Kyoto so yeah really pleased with that one.